William Akers? I wonder if he's related to Jeff Akers. Speakeasy. Joe Akers? Emily said Jeff Akers' father was named Joe. Maybe Jeff is related to William Akers after all. The dogs will lead the way. I wonder what that means. Nice Junior Park Ranger pin. You must really be on Acre's good side. I found an old newspaper in Sally's house that contained an article on Mickey Malone. It really got my curiosity going. What else can you tell me about him? Person you should talk to is Jeff Acres. He's got this historical museum thing going out at that ranger station of his. How do I get to the museum? Just up lake from Sally's on the east side. Do you know anything about the gold that Mickey Malone supposedly buried somewhere on his property? All I got to say about it is, if there really was a bunch of gold buried somewhere and nobody ever found it, it's for darn sure nobody ever will. Not with them dogs up there. I found this picture in Sally's house. Do you recognize anybody? Hmm. I'm guessing the guy's Mickey Malone, but I don't know who's that lady. Sounds like a case for our resident know-it-all Ranger Acres. Guess I'll see you later. Always a pleasure. You're back. Sorry to bother you again, but did those results from the water test come in yet? There's something here for you from the State Department of Health. Oh my gosh, not only is the water bad, but it seems like the well may have been contaminated deliberately. I wouldn't go jumping to conclusions without proof, Ms. Drew. I'm sure there's a far less melodramatic explanation. I found a newspaper dating back to 1927 in Sally's house. Since you're kind of an expert on the history of Moon Lake, do you mind if I ask you some questions about Mickey Malone? Not at all. The article mentioned that a man named William Akers used to work for Malone. Is he a relative of yours? No. Quite a coincidence, I'll admit, but no. I am in no way related to the head flunky of some two-bit gangster and his gang of thugs. What do you know about a man named Joe Akers? Why do you ask? I recently found out that William Akers had a son. All right, all right. William Akers was my grandfather. Why didn't you tell me that before? It's not exactly something I'm proud of. My father spent his whole life trying to make people forget what my grandfather was and trying to make sure people who didn't know what he was never found out. I've been doing the same thing. I found this old picture in Sally's house. Do you know who these people are? The man is Mickey Malone, I know that. I'm guessing that this is his girlfriend, uh, Vivian Burnett, I think her name was. And judging by the year of that brand new Ford in the background, I'd say the picture was taken in 1928. She was probably as familiar with Malone's house and his dogs as he was. Think there's any chance she's still alive? Tell you what, Miss Drew. Why don't I go through my files and see what I can dig up on this mystery woman? I'm a busy man, but like I always say, 
I'm here to serve. When and why was Malone arrested? I'm sorry, Ms. Drew. As usual, I'm a little pressed for time. If you have more questions, why don't you sit down at the computer and peruse the Moon Lake database of fascinating factoids that I've put together? Did your grandfather ever find any gold on Malone's property? If he did, he never spent it. He wasn't poor when he died, but he certainly wasn't rich. What happened to Akers and the rest of Malone's gang after he went to prison? <laughs> Fortunately for Moon Lake, they all left and went their separate ways. What can you tell me about the gold that Malone supposedly buried on his property? As far as I know, it doesn't exist. It's just one of those rumors people want to believe, so they do. Thanks for all your help. Not a problem. Hey, Sally, it's Nancy. Nancy, did you see them? Did you see the dogs? Yes, I did, and I can understand why you left. They were pretty frightening. But if it's okay with you, I'd really like to stay and get to the bottom of whatever is going on. That's why you asked me here in the first place, right? Yes, but Nancy, are you sure? Positive. Consider Detective Drew officially on the case. I wish I were even half the trooper you are, Nancy. Oh, I have such high hopes for that house. All the beauty there, the wildlife, all the pictures I was going to take. It would break my heart to have to give it up. I need you to tell me everything you can about those dogs. They're black, and they have yellow glowing eyes, and they don't like me one bit. When's the first time you saw them? Well, let's see. I heard them the very first night I was here. I heard them almost every night, howling in the distance. But I didn't actually see them until I'd been here about a week. After that, they started appearing pretty much every other night. When they appeared, did they always do the same thing? Yes, come to think of it. They always came running up to the house, barking and snarling. They'd lunge at the windows, they'd jump up on the door, they'd run around and bark some more, then they'd run off. What are you getting at? These attacks seem to involve a lot of choreography, which reinforces my theory that you're not being randomly attacked by a pack of wild dogs, but by dogs who've been trained by someone determined to scare you out of your house at Moon Lake. Who would want to do that? My closest neighbor lives two miles away. My property is surrounded by the state park, but it's off-season, so hardly anybody is in the park. In fact, I bet I talked to a total of three people the whole four weeks I was at Moon Lake. What about River Heights? Can you think of anyone there who'd want you to sell your house at Moon Lake and move back to River Heights? <laughs> you mean like an angry ex-boyfriend or something? Nope, I sure can't. Since I'm going to be staying here a while, is there anything I should know about the place? Well, let's see. I've got the water turned off because it's well water and it needs to be tested before I can use it for anything. In fact, if you could get that testing done for me, I'd really appreciate it. Oh, and watch where you walk in the living room. Some of the floorboards are so rotten, you could fall right through. And I keep hearing these faint squeaks and rustling-type noises coming from below the floor. I hope you're not scared of mice. I'm afraid I have some bad news. I had your well water tested, and according to the health department, it contains a very high level of arsenic. Arsenic? Somebody poisoned my well? Maybe, maybe not. The health department is running more tests. When you bought the house, did anyone mention a problem with the well? No. And it doesn't matter. I love that house, and I am going to live in it. If that well's bad, I'll just dig another one. At least, I will when I know for sure why bad things keep happening there. You are going to figure that out, right, Nancy? You bet I am. 
I knew I could count on you. Were you ever told that Mickey Malone supposedly buried a small fortune in gold bullion somewhere on your property and that it has yet to be found? Is this a joke? Malone supposedly stole a bunch of gold bars off a train and buried them at Moon Lake. You never heard about that? Uh, no. Could it be true? Well, if somebody thinks it's true, that may be the reason they're trying to frighten you off your property. How did you hear about it? I found the journal of a man named William Akers in a safe in your cellar. He was one of Malone's closest associates. Ever hear of him? Never. Where'd all that stuff in your tool shed come from? It's just junk left behind by previous owners. Came with the house. I've been meaning to take inventory and start pitching stuff, but I didn't. If they ever make procrastination a crime, I'm done for. Are you aware that you're the proud owner of your very own cemetery? Yes. When the realtor told me there was a cemetery on the property, I went, ugh. But when I saw how far from the house it was and how small it was, I decided I could live with it, as it were. So you didn't go out there much? Uh, no. That Emily Griffin is quite a character. How well do you know her? I feel like I've known her all my life. She's so open and friendly. She likes to make it sound as if Moon Lake used to be a major hangout for criminals and degenerates. Which isn't really true and irks some people around here no end. But I figure she's just trying to make a buck. Talk to you later. Thanks again, Nancy.